these particles tend to travel along the uh, olfactory nerves, which are the smell nerves in the nose, and it travels directly to the part of the brain that has to do with memory and, and uh, emotions, uh, the hippocampus, the entorhinal area, and the prefrontal cortex, and that you can trace these chemicals traveling along that nerve and depositing in this area of the brain. The other thing that was known is that if you aerosolize aluminum, uh, it's one of the metals that passes very easily along this track and directly into the brain, so it bypasses the blood-brain barrier and goes directly into the brain and accumulates. Well, if you do it in animals, it produces lesions or damage in that uh, area of the brain, and the animal uh, will be able to show changes of memory and learning and emotional changes. Uh, when we look at people who have Alzheimer's disease, ironically, the highest concentration of aluminum in the brain is uh, that same entry point, uh, what's called the entorhinal cortex. Uh, and the levels uh, continue to accumulate.